So here we have this beautiful 1955 Chevy Bel Air convertible. Beautiful, beautiful color combination. I, I uh, absolutely love it. It's uh, sea mist green and Neptune green. A lot of people would call it turquoise. So doing an inspection, there's a little bit of a old paint chip that was uh, touched up there. The uh, chrome and paint on the front are otherwise perfect. I, I'm not sure if I remember seeing any other issue at all. The, the alignment here the, um, is a little bit off probably. And uh, other than that, I think that might be about the only cosmetic <clears throat> defect locking gas cap. Love the Continental kit. The alignment on the trunk is beautiful. The, uh, yeah, so no dents. Oh, maybe a little, little tiny, tiny dent right there. Very, very small. Um, okay, so the only, the only other issue cosmetically on this is that there's a little bit of faint spider webbing in the paint or checking in the paint. I don't know if you can see that. Let me get real close. Yeah, okay, you see that? So, see the size of my fingers, right? So, there's very, very faint uh, spider webbing in certain areas of the paint. Um, it's probably just from preparation, the paint prep. Um, a few over here. Uh, I do not see it anywhere on the turquoise color. It's more the metallic. So worst case, if you wanted to repaint that, you could, or you just leave it as is. It's not that, it's really not that much of an issue. Uh, the chrome in the rear is excellent. So, I mean, other than that, the, the uh, cosmetics on this car are really, really top notch. So now continuing with the uh, inspection video, the 1955 Chevy Bel Air convertible with the 265 cubic inch, 180 horsepower V8, power steering, power brakes, beautifully restored, every nut and bolt done. Everything correctly uh, <clears throat> plated, as far as I can tell, anyway. So, the engine compartment's uh, just about as new, in beautiful condition. <clears throat> Let's look at the interior. The interior also is just about as now, I, I love the interiors on the 55s. I think they're just so creative. The designers you know, did a fantastic job. In the trunk of the Continental kit, Jack, everything's in great shape, really thoroughly done. You can tell they started with a nice car to begin with too. And they did a very, very thorough job. And I've got uh, photos that I'll include of the undercarriage. So you can see things like, you know, the um, all of the seals are nicely installed. You don't see glue everywhere. Um, it's just really, really well done. Okay, let me get the keys. All right. It's still very cold. If I was smart, I'd warm it up for you, but hey, who knows? You might be in Alaska where it's, the cars run cold a lot. So anyhow, um, I know it's it's been about, oh, stalled. It's 
been about eight years since the restoration, uh, and since this is really, you know, and since then it's been used very little. So I know if I had this, I would I would take it on tours and show it. I would take it to Concor events and um, car shows and on tours and I would put, you know, a few thousand miles on it. I think that would make it its very happiest. Yeah, so the suspension's really nice. So you can tell every nut and bolt on this car has been redone. Um, it just feels, it feels like a brand new 55 Chevy. Alright, you can tell it's still cold. Similar to the 57 Chevy, um, I, I would assume that the gas in this is very old. Horn works. You should check the brakes before going too fast. Yeah, the brakes work fine. lesson here is warm up the cars before taking them on test drives, right? Transmission shifts really well. Okay, so I'm putting the top down. 